The White House releasing a statement today on the protests in Cuba, standing in solidarity with the Cuban people. The president making it clear the U.S. stands with the Cuban people. In a statement released by the White House, President Biden said, quote, the Cuban people are bravely asserting fundamental and universal rights. Those rights, including the right of peaceful protests and the right to freely determine their own future, must be respected. The president also calling on the Cuban regime to, quote, hear their people and serve their needs at this vital moment rather than enriching themselves. The statement comes as thousands of people took to the streets Sunday in the biggest protests in decades against Cuba's communist government. It also comes as the island nation faces an economic crisis and struggles to fight rising COVID-19 cases. We've been chanting, we are not afraid. And why are they in the street? They're in the street because they seek freedom. What they seek to do basically is to live in a normal country. Senator Marco Rubio, who is a Cuban-American, posting a series of tweets on the protests along with videos. They're tired of living under tyranny and they're tired of living under incompetent leaders. That's what the Cuban regime is. The senator originally criticized President Biden for taking too long to release a statement about the protests. And after senior State Department official Julie Chung tweeted support for the protests, though her tweet suggested the anger was about COVID, COVID, Rubio called her out on Twitter. Of course, COVID has a, pl a role to play, but this began well before COVID. These people are frustrated. They want to live in a normal country. So why can't the State Department, why can't the White House just say it clearly? This is about freedom. Chung later tweeting, we stand by the Cuban people's right for peaceful assembly. White House officials are closely monitoring the protests with National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan already sending a warning against targeting the peaceful protests.